Now the good, the bad, and the oppie of the past week in sports. I really like the Stampede bringing back Randy Livingston for a second year as head coach. Stampede outdid themselves the last half of the season, although a lot of that success revolved around former NBA star Antoine Walker and Portland Trailblazer Armand Johnson. But a second year for Livingston will give him another shot at the NBA DL draft, which by all accounts was a swing and a miss for him last year. Only two Stampede players were on both the opening and closing night rosters. Shouldn't be a stretch to guess the bad. Boise State and the NCAA's compliance crosshairs. The university charged with lack of institutional control and has circled the wagons, denying all our interview requests. So we don't know how BSU plans to defend itself next month in front of an NCAA panel. All but one violation was minor, but the sheer number of violations were enough for Boise State to self-impose scholarship and other penalties. There isn't much precedent I've found to give a good idea of how the NCAA is going to react on this one. The Oppie, nothing I could do, but something you got to see. Rafa Nadal has won 37 straight matches on clay, taking on Novak Djokovic. Second set, Djokovic catches Nadal at the net, lobs one over. And there's the through the legs lob back over Djokovic, an awesome shot. Other than that though, Djokovic dominated. He wins in straight sets and that ends Nadal's 37 game streak, winning streak on play. It's Djokovic's sixth tournament win this year. He has 33 straight match victories, uh, which is second all time. So he's on quite the streak of his own. Uh, Djokovic is. And the French is coming up uh, not too long here. Not too long, yeah, I, a couple weeks. You yeah. caught me off guard, but I think it's a couple, three weeks away. I think you're right. Okay, thank you.